There aren't really many reputable ROM projects kicking around today, sadly, but using the crutch of another popular ROM, Evolution X could be the customization king for your aging devices. Before we do get into it though, I want you to subscribe to the channel because it means you like this type of content and B, we're building a proper community dedicated to all things Android from top to bottom and that includes ROMs like Evolution X. True legends though, they become channel members because they get all kinds of awesome stuff like wallpapers, behind the scenes content, exclusive merch drops and more as we develop one of the best YouTube channel membership offerings on the platform, at least in my opinion. Hit the join button to learn more and support the channel. The custom ROM scene back in the day used to be really bustling. I probably like you out there as well. Used to throw custom ROMs on all of my devices. Used to love that thing. But new projects just seem less frequent. Even established ones like the well-regarded Pixel Experience shut down this year. With that void though, Evolution X, based upon Lineage OS, which is a solid foundation that we do recommend you go check out. We have done a deep dive into that. Go check out that video down below. This ROM has stepped up to fill in that Pixel Experience gap. By building on this existing project, Evolution X should stay in sync with the larger Lineage project, offering a familiar yet slightly enhanced alternative. It also boosts additional customization options and that clean, bloat-free experience, which makes it perfect for reviving an aging device. Evolution X also keeps you updated with the latest features and adds a bunch of quality of life improvements. And the good news is that Pixel fans will appreciate when they hear this, is that Pixel specific goodies are also bundled in. As I noted, Evolution X replicates that clean and intuitive interface that you'll find on Pixel phones, but this provides a familiar and polished look for users accustomed to this popular and lightweight version of Android. Customization controls and refinements are where things start to become more powerful though. It's also worth noting that Google mobile services and the suite of Google applications are pre-installed as standard, unlike some other ROMs out there. AOSP apps are not actually included. Instead, it's like using a regular public Android build with Google stalwarts like Messages, Dialer, the Contacts app, Clock, and even the calendar all ready for you to use once you sign into your Google account. And it doesn't just stop there. There's lots of other Google apps pre-installed. The biggest though and the most important part of Evolution X is called Evolver or The Evolver. This section is found in the settings and it's home to almost all of the customization options that you could ever need. Evolver does live at the top of the settings menu as I mentioned and it lets you make the kind of changes that an Android launcher could only dream of without having root access. You can do things like change the Monet color theming settings to suit your style better or your wallpaper, change the system font to over 30 fonts, including those from other brands like Samsung, OnePlus, Xiaomi and more. You can even change the Wi-Fi, mobile signal icons, navigation bar icons, plus the entire status bar can be tweaked with theming and font options. We're literally just scratching the surface here as the Evolver section includes more controls to do things like change notification shade style and quick settings actions. My favorite is actually the ability to set the gesture to open the quick settings panel with a right screen swipe. I see this as like a custom launcher basically on steroids with tweaks for just about all facets of the main UI, including app icons, the notification bar colors, even those notification bar icons themselves and screen off animations. And I do feel like I'm doing this in injustice because there is so much extra under the hood here that you can play around with. One controversial feature though, is the ability to spoof your device. This works twofold as you're able to effectively trick the system into believing your phone is a newer device like the Pixel 8 Pro and get specific functionality reserved for Google's current top tier handset. This functionality can also be used to get higher FPS ratings in your favorite games, eking out better performance that is often software locked on some Android phones. The gray area here and the controversial aspect of this device spoofing is a toggle that is baked into Evolution X that lets you access unlimited Google photo storage by setting your phone as a device that still has access to full resolution photo backups for life. In this case, it's the original Google Pixel. This loophole might get closed in future, but I have to say it's an interesting addition, even if there are some controversy or there is some controversy around it. Evolution X isn't just about customization as it has improvements on how to use your phone as well. You can do things like enable status bar swiping for controlling screen brightness or add or remove key information from the status bar itself, including adding full time status with the seconds and adjust the battery icon if you want a different icon and even add an auto brightness toggle to the quick settings panel so you can quickly enable and disable this. I do think Google should add this in future. You can do even do things like hide the clock when looking at the Pixel launcher home screen. It all adds up to 
it being a really cohesive and nice custom experience. One of the biggest options I think in terms of usability that Evolution X adds that I would love to see elsewhere is a swipe to screenshot function. You may have seen this in lots of other third party OEM skins, but it's really useful and only requires a three swipe downward to activate. And this means you can use this in any application to quickly take a screenshot without having to fumble with the buttons on screen. I love that you can also tweak things like the power menu to add more options like airplane mode, a quick screenshot toggle and home controls, which have been missing since Android 11 from this area. That's not all though, as the restart button itself has enhanced controls to restart system UI and even lets you reboot into fast boot, recovery mode, or the bootloader. And I think this is super helpful for more than just troubleshooting as you can get where you need to be and sideload updates with just a restart. Alongside the enhancer portion, Evolution X adds that neat AI wallpapers feature to practically any device as part of the wallpaper and style application. Officially, this is locked to the Pixel 8 series, but not with this ROM. You also get the full gamut of Pixel lock screen wallpaper clocks as well, something that not all custom ROMs have bundled in. So it definitely feels a lot like a Pixel in all but name. Evolution X also restores a few things that have been missing in recent Android builds, like the rotation settings. You can set rotation modes with this so that your screen only just when moving at a specific angle. And this replaces the face detection rotation mode. And I must admit it works a lot better and more accurately in my practice. You're also able to do things like remove the gesture nav bar from this particular ROM if you find it gets distracting or annoying. This does mess a little bit with the circle to search functionality, which is also bundled in here too. The on the go mode is really cool as it adds a live feed from the rear camera of your device to the UI itself and makes it easier to use your phone and safer, obviously, whilst on the move. The core interface increases transparency so that you're aware of your surroundings and might be useful if you're using this in a busy or bustling city environment. Per app, volume controls also let you set specific volume levels for media apps on your phone. I think this is especially useful when switching between apps and services like YouTube, for instance, or a podcast application, and these stay set when you launch them again. I think this is a really nice feature. It means if you're using headphones, you can switch between them without destroying your ears. One of the most interesting features that you probably won't see elsewhere is the charging control option. Most of the time, your phone is in complete control of your charging cycle once you plug it in or throw it on a wireless charging pad. Well, Evolution X gives you the ability to choose how your phone will charge either via a time schedule with a precise target to hit that 100% battery capacity. This though goes far beyond adaptive charging but you can leave this alone if you do want to let your device handle the charging cycle. I have to say, I really like this as it means you can go beyond adaptive charging and really get control of how your device charges on a day-to-day -day basis, especially if you do leave it charging overnight. We all know that Pixel devices don't natively support multiple app instances, at least on one profile, but Evolution X also has a cloned apps function that lets you do this natively and allows you to have a duplicate to add more accounts and users. And it's especially useful if you don't wanna set up a work profile. You can though only install two of each application on your phone. Some apps might not work as intended, but it is really nice way to add extra applications and have multiple accounts separate from one another. Evolution X isn't just about customization and functionality though, as it has a few security features added that you won't see on regular Pixel phones. Google added a private DNS way back in Android 9 Pi, but Evolution X goes a few steps further with more providers, including Cloudflare, AdGuard, Clean Browsing, and Quad9, to name a few. Inbuilt OTA updates also make it easy to get regular patches with Evolution X. The team of ROM maintainers also work to ensure that you do get the latest builds each and every month on time and with all of the functionality in order. And this means that even when Google pushes regular feature drops, something we love here on the channel, you're not waiting around to get the latest OTA. You can also do things like hide developer status from all of the apps on your phone. I would say this doesn't directly offer any security benefits, but it could hinder any applications trying to exploit this status on your phone. One of the final flourishes I think that is really nice with any custom ROM is a custom boot animation. Of course, Evolution X has a custom boot logo that takes the place of the regular Google launch animation. I would say it's fine for what it's worth, and it just loads up the Evolution Project logo right after the Google icon is shown. It's definitely not the best out there, but it's nice to know that when you load in, you're definitely getting into Evolution X. So after a week of running this ROM on my Pixel 7a, the performance was basically as expected, given that isn't an aging device in any metric. It felt smooth with zero slowdowns, and only a few minor bugs here and there. Most of the time it was to do with the volume controls, which would suddenly move in a few pixels on the screen. It looked a bit odd, but it would always fix itself. 
Of course, all the phones out there will see some level of improvement, especially if you are using an older phone that has a really heavy skin on top of it, but that might not apply to every device given the limitations of aging smartphone internals. I think where ROMs like this, like Lineage and Evolution X show the value for owners of devices with those heavy OEM skins like Samsung, Xiaomi and Oppo is that if your device is supported, you can get a really clean experience without sacrificing the customization and functionality that many of those third-party skins tend to be known for. The installation process was super simple, but the team behind Evolution X doesn't offer an easy accessible tutorial for people who are wanting to try this for self. I will leave a link down below on a post that I found online on Medium, which really did help me get started, although it was just basically pointing me in the right direction because I have done this previously. If you do want to flash this on your phone, so I would say, should you install this on your device? I think for most people, a custom ROM is going to be a little bit confusing and sometimes a bit of a finicky way to keep a device updated, or even if you just want to access some features. If you're not confident attempting to flash a ROM on your device, I'd say you're probably better off sticking with an Android launcher. And I do have a roundup of the best Android launchers you should check out down in the description below. That said, despite some of the pitfalls, I really have found that Evolution X is a very refreshing way to get that pixel experience without compromising on all of those added extra functions. I think opening up a lot of extra features and the ability to just go beyond the basic pixel launcher while retaining um, the Lineage OS core is easily one of the biggest attractions. And I will say I've barely scratched the surface here. I've tried my best to give you an overview of what things we think are valuable. The Evolver customization controls really are though the icing atop what is an enticing cake the regular updates and the appeal of an unlocked pixel features or unlocked pixel features on devices that don't support them might be one of the reasons you want to test drive Evolution X for yourself. If that is the case, go check out that link down in the below. I'll leave all links for you to get started, but I do hope you enjoyed this ROM review. Um, I've really enjoyed diving into lots of custom ROMs over the last couple of months. Keep your recommendations coming in. It's an area that I'm personally really interested in and we're hoping to do more on the channel, so stay tuned. Thanks to the legends on screen now, our channel members. We love you very much. Thanks for helping keep our content fiercely independent and allowing us to do this. Until next time though, this is Damien saying thanks for watching and I will speak to you later.